When I first started looking at blockchains, I was a tax analyst and I'd studied to be a chartered accountant. I had finished my designation. One of the things that always stood out to me in that field of study was how imperfect accounting was and how imperfect financial reporting was. One of the case studies we learned in university was Enron and WorldCom and all these like massive systemic frauds and you know failures of the public markets and failures of traditional compliance and reporting and, and all of this under the guise of regulation and under the guise of like appropriate and by the rules accounting. So when we look at blockchains and decentralization, this industry might be the solution to, to regain some trust and regain some control for users to be in, in, in the driver's seat. When we moved from a private software company with clients to a public open source project with a community, um, accountability became a lot more important because the number of people that are relying on us meeting our deadlines is growing at a dramatic speed. It's uh, you know thousands of people that are going to be relying on us for their own livelihood, whether they're miners or they're building their own businesses on top of Aon. Uh, so now it becomes a you know a lot more critical that we 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 stay true to that uh, to that discipline. It really is making sure that we rebuild a layer of confidence into the technology that we're all going to live on in the future. There's not enough people kind of challenging the, co the original assumptions of how we built the systems in the first place. And I think that's what we're trying to do differently is go back to the drawing board and just um, come up with our own assumptions.